Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time of year that a lot of people are wondering about politics. As I look into history, you know, many people have run for office in the world that weren't really qualified to run for office. And I'm worried about our political system. I don't know about you, but I worry about our system. I want our country to be free from tyranny. I want our country to be free from crime. I want our country to, I want our children to be able to walk out on the front porch at night and eat a popsicle in peace. I mean, I, I, when you think about the depraved minds of the world today, you think there are those people that don't even need to be in office that are trying to run for government positions. It just, it's mind-boggling to think that there are people that would yeah, do these things. But, I mean, it drives me almost crazy thinking about it. You know, our country at this present time mainly has the two-party system. I'll try to demonstrate this to be simplistic. You know, there's a lot of people that will be viewing this training film for, poli for politics, and they'll be wondering, Jim, do you know anything at all about politics? And I will have to say, yes, I do. I do! And what I know about politics can be explained in this piece of bread. I know many of you eat bread for supper. I eat bread all the time. In fact, bread is the staff of life. If you separate these two pieces of bread, like this, keep them apart. Don't let them get back together. You know, you, you, if you get too close to each other, you might... Ah, we won't go into that. We've got to keep people apart. They don't belong together. People that don't need to be together, you've got to keep them apart. These two pieces of bread represent the one Republican Party. Ah! Two, the Democratic Party. Ah, ah! Now, what's good about the Republican Party? Well, the Republican Party mainly stands for truth, justice, and the American way. American way. Do I say the American way? The American way. Nothing. The American way. Where did that word ever come from? I know where it came from. Superman! The old Superman show on TV, The American Way. Truth, justice, and the American way. I tell you, the American way of eating bread is so simple. I mean, why would you even want to know about the Republican Party? This side, not that side, but this side. Why would you ask me about this? The only way I can think, if you asked about a question like that, is to take this thing and just shove it down your throat and eat it. Ah! <laughs> Let's get serious now. There's too many people that don't want to be themselves in the politic in the political arena. I mean, they tell you one thing and they do another thing. I want a person to be themselves. I don't know about you, but I want people to be themselves. I don't want them trying to pull tricks on me when I go to the polls. I want them to be themselves. I don't want them to look like somebody else when they're really me. Wouldn't you want me to be me if I was me? Sure you would. Wouldn't want me to be somebody else? Ah, you wouldn't know me from me. Take that thing off and I'm me. You see how much clearer I am when you know who me is? Let's take the other party, the Democratic Party. This is what's left of this demonstration. The Democratic Party. Bill Clinton has taken this side of the world and demolished it. There is nothing left but yeast. And the yeast he can do is put this country back together like it's supposed to be. Do away with the fags. Get the queers out of here. I'll tell you, there's one thing wrong with this country. Too many Democrats eating the Republicans' party. They're eating it before you can get a chance to digest things. I like to digest food. I don't know about you. I like to digest food. You can see, you can see, 
you can see that the Democratic Party has made a mess. Look at the mess they made. They made a mess of the world. That's why I'm voting Republican. I'm voting Republican to keep the mess like this off the floors of life. What about you? Will you stand behind me, Jim Crow? The only one that has sense in the world to tell the truth just like it is. Or are you going to make a mess? Oh, ah! He's inside. <laughs> oh. People are going to make a mess out of the world without my leadership. The Republican Party must lead the way. They must lead the world. Well, I guess I am a leader. In fact, I'm leading the way in the Do March. Do March? Yes. Do you like to march? We like to march. It's a good thing to march when you're marching for the right reasons, right? Sure it is. Did I ask you? No, I didn't. What about you? Ah! Many people try to get buddy in my conversation. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, write to me for a political scenario of this subject and I'll send it to you postpaid without any mess. I tell you, I hate messes. I hate messes. So, Jim Crow saying good night. God bless you. And, ah! Okay.